Now, many of you know her as Punky Brewster, but to her kids, Soleil Moonfry is known simply as mom. And that title comes with a lot of responsibility, including prioritizing her kids' health. Yeah, she has partnered with GSK for a campaign raising awareness about meningitis B. Soleil joins us now with more. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I am so excited to be here. And of course, I love Chicago. Oh, oh we love that. you. Punky. I love I, it. I, punky, Chicago, so <laughs> yes. my heart. <laughs> Have you, do you ever get away from the whole Punky Brewster character at all? I never want to get away. Okay, good, 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 good. important part of my heart. It's like Punky and Cherry Power forever and ever and ever and ever. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Watch the show religiously growing up. Oh, yeah. So I got to ask, okay, oh. actress, producer, director, published author, mom of four, what else are you doing now? <laughs> you are very kind. I, I'm i so grateful. I mean, my kids are, are just my heart, my soul, my life. And then next to my kids, I get to work with Core Response, which is a nonprofit so close to my heart where we're doing disaster relief around the globe. And that's so important to me. And then I get to be a part of the Proud Family revival, which mm -hmm. is so fun, which you can check out on Disney Plus right now. And Kid 90, my doc on Hulu, which is such an important part of my life. And I just feel like I'm living this incredible dream where I get to be mom and activist and artist and creative and I'm really grateful and of course I'm so thankful to be here today with you guys talking about our ask to be sure campaign with GSK so I'm really honored that you guys have had me here so thank you so we're come well I, I, I hate to say we're coming out of COVID because we're not um, unfortunately I think COVID's going to be around for a while but there are many other diseases that still need our attention meningitis is one of them and that's one thing you're here to talk to us about today what is it that you're hoping to get across to our viewers about meningitis and getting the vaccine. You know, so it, it's so fascinating. You know, for me, I had learned about meningitis B from a dear friend, and I called one of my best friends who's a pediatrician, Shaka, and I grew up with her since I was 14 years old, and we started talking about it. And what I didn't realize is that meningitis B is completely different from what so many of us think that the kids are vaccinated for meningitis when they're little. So this is very different, and it really affects teens from 16 to 23 years old and having a 16 year old that's about to go out into the world oh, no. and looking at colleges, you know, I, I thought it was so uh, incredible to learn about this. I was shocked that I didn't know about it. And I realized that if I wasn't aware about it, then there's probably millions of other families that aren't. And my 16 year old now has gotten her first vaccination against meningitis B. And I, I just felt like, you know, it was really important to share this awareness and, and what I had learned and, um, and to be able to get that dialogue going so that we talk yeah. to our healthcare providers mm -hmm. and our doctors and ask those questions and so people can go to asktobesure.com to learn more. I know it was really uh, illuminating for me, and so I wanted to share it. Well, yeah, because until we set this interview up, I had no idea that my kids were going to have to get a hepatitis B shot as they got older either. Is this something that I need to ask my pediatrician about, or do they offer up the information? Do you know? So oftentimes, it's oftentimes it's about really asking the pediatrician or asking your healthcare provider because so many people make the assumption, of course, that, you know, oh no, my kid's been vaccinated for meningitis, um, which, you know, when they're younger, they have a meningitis vaccination. It's totally different from meningitis B. Okay. Okay. So this vaccination, and and I believe it was 2020, they did a they did a study in seven out of ten. 17 years olds had not received their first vaccination against meningitis B. Wow. And this is this could possibly be deadly. Absolutely. And and what's so heart-wrenching is speaking to families that have been affected by this mm -hmm. and realizing that sometimes in as soon as 24 hours what? someone can die mm -hmm. from this. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So it yeah. really is life-threatening and hearing the stories you know, I, I spoke to a mother, Patty, and it really does make me so emotional. It was the week before her daughter's prom. She got meningitis B and she died within, you know, within days. And oh. so you hear these stories and 
so many people think this can't happen to them until right. it does. And she was a nurse. She mm. was a nurse. She mm. knew what to look for. And um, and so I, I think having that dialogue so that people can make an educated choice for their family, I was really grateful. I feel like it made my daughter and I closer because we had this dialogue and this conversation. And so for me, it's really about having these conversations, you know, and, and being able to have an open dialogue. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's leave this on a brighter yeah, note. No kidding. So, so you're doing the Proud Family re Revival. What, what's new? What's, what's next? Anything else? Or is that just enough? Because I mean, you're busy so enough. Proud, so many exciting things. So, yes. So the four kids are, like, really, like, yeah. wow. Sure, amazing. sure. And then so many exciting projects. I have another documentary I'm working on right now. Of course, Kid 90, which is the documentary that, you know, has been such a personal journey. That's on Hulu right now. So please check out Kid 90. Okay. And Proud Family, of course. Family, Disney yeah. Plus. And, and the incredible work that I get to do with Core Response, which is this nonprofit, which is so close to my heart. I have the honor of working with Sean Penn and Ann Lee on that. We did testing across the country, vaccinations across the country and globally now. And we are a disaster relief organization. We're working with refugees. Uh, essentially, when disaster strikes, we jump in. And, um, and I'm so humbled and honored to be a part of, of this nonprofit. Well, right. thank you so much, so Lily, much for, for taking joining some time. us and yeah. everything that you've been doing. It's great. We parents need each other for sure. Yes, we do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have Best a great one. Thank you.